Spooky, scary skeletons and shivers down your spine. Shrieking skull will shock your soul and seal your doom tonight. Hey guys, it's Nick from Miss here, and today I'm going to be bringing you a Dead by Daylight chapter review. Now before I start this chapter review, I would like to say that I have never played a Silent Hill game before, and even I can admit that Behavior Interactive has done an incredible job with this chapter. It makes me happy to see some horror video games getting the spotlight, and I would even like to see a Resident Evil chapter or an Evil Within chapter in Dead by Daylight someday. Pyramid Head and Cheryl both got some unique perks. None of the perks are all that amazing in terms of strategic play, but I have been having a lot of fun with one of Cheryl's perks where you can block the generator. And Pyramid Head's power is really fun to use and to play against, so it's a good mix up for both survivor players and killer players. I even made a video on him exclusively, if you want to check it out, the link is in the description below. And if I'm really impressed with the amount of effort that was put into this chapter, I can only imagine just how happy the Silent Hill fans are with this. The elementary school is one of my favorite new maps, with it being like the biggest map in the game, it must have 4 or 5 levels to the school, packed with rooms, and a pretty big area outside as well. There's lots of neat references and easter eggs scattered across this map, and I'm sure I haven't even found half of them yet. On top of the amazing new characters and map we got, we also got some really unique skins. The Legion gets a new skin which turns him into a giant pink rabbit mascot known as Robbie the Rabbit in the Silent Hill games. He's basically just a mascot who's found as an easter egg during the Silent Hill games, he doesn't really do anything, but I think that's really cool that they gave it to the Legion, and Cheryl also has two unique skins which turn her into two different female characters from other Silent Hill games. They've even gone ahead and re-released Dead by Daylight with the Silent Hill edition, which comes with I believe two other chapters which is the Oni and the Deathslinger chapters, and it obviously comes with the Silent Hill chapter and all of the bells and whistles like I mentioned before with the rabbit costume for Legion and the other costumes for Cheryl, whereas for normal players like myself who just purchased the DLC, you also have to purchase those skins. Overall, you can tell that Behavior Interactive has some big Silent Hill fans at their company, as the effort that was put into this chapter is just amazing. Even as someone who isn't a Silent Hill fan, I definitely can admire that. What do you guys think about the new chapter? Have you been having fun playing it? Thanks for watching guys, as always this has been Nick from us. see you later. Let's see how he likes the Kamehameha!